The Second Sunday in Advent, Year B, from the book of Isaiah by way of the Gospel according to Mark. See, I am sending my messenger ahead of you, who will prepare your way. The voice of one crying out in the wilderness, prepare the way of the Lord, make his path straight. In the name of that Lord, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our readings for this week call us to prepare a moral pathway for God through the wilderness of our lives. Civil engineers have found that a road built on soft sand, though it's easy to shape, collapses under the weight of those traveling on it. Good roads require composite materials. That's why God has chosen us with all our varied experiences, our hard tendencies, our brittle tendencies, our well-draining and soft tendencies, as the stuff from which this road is made. John goes out into the wilderness, a land of hard and varied soil, to proclaim a baptism of repentance for the forgiveness of sins. He uses the wilderness as a backdrop for proclaiming, along with Isaiah, the need for each of us to prepare a way for the ministry of Jesus in the wilderness of our lives. Peter speaks of God being not slow about this promise, but rather patient with all of us, not wanting any to perish, but all to come to repentance. God waits for us first to employ justice to carefully examine our lives, noting what sins are blocking our way forward and busting the rocks of our hardened sin into gravel. Second, we have to collect that bitter lime that's been produced from truths burning away of the chaff and thorns and the withered grass of our outgrown distractions and habits and regrets. That lime will help bind together the clay of our humanity and the smoothing sands of God's peace. We must then learn to include the baptizing waters of mercy, which loosens the mixture and activates the lime. All the while, God waits patiently for us. Indeed, God even leaves, lends us a hand with all these processes, though we don't always appreciate the means of God's assistance. Let us, therefore, take the time in this season of preparation to continue preparing a way for the Lord within the wilderness of our own hearts and rejoice that our God has chosen the pathway that leads to our hearts. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. <laughs>